supercars. There is no denying that the landscape of the automotive industry is seismically shifting. As we leave to another decade in the dust, here's a look back at what the last 20 years or so have brought us in the way of memorable supercars. So, without any more delay, here's a look at the 10 greatest supercars of the 21st century so far. Welcome to Nerdy's Top 10. Don't forget to subscribe us for more videos like this and do leave your thoughts in comments. First on our list comes the Koenig Segregra. Sweden may be known largely as the home of proletarian transportation King Volvo, but sports car enthusiasts also know it as the land of Koenig Seg. And one of the mightiest models to leave that factory is the Regra, brainchild of company founder Christian von Koenig Seg who was, reportedly, inspired after a few sprints in a Tesla Model S P95. The Regra, however, runs on hybrid power combining three electric motors with a 5-liter V8. The powertrain configuration, in total, produces a staggering 1,700 HP all of which completely and wonderfully upends the image of Swedes being models of self-restraint. First comes the Lamborghini Huracan Performant. Lamborghini's Huracan was no slouch, a flying wedge of a car powered by a 10-cylinder engine producing a touch over 600 HP. But four years after the models debuted in 2014 debut, it was decided that this Italian raging bull needed a track-focused makeover. Carbon fiber bumpers, skirts and an adjustable wing removed weight and added downforce, while an engine massage bumped horsepower up 5% and took the coupe's 0 to 60 mph time down to just less than 3 seconds. The interior was just as race-oriented, with sport seats and digital speedometer off the Aventator. All that added up to a brief but celebrated 2016 track record at Germany's haloed Nürburgring, not bad at all for a company whose roots were in tractors. Next comes the Pagani Imola. Named after a famous Italian racing track, Imola's technical specs have long been shrouded in mystery. The manufacturer has recently released the technical details of the supercar. Mercedes-AMG developed a twin-turbo 6.0-liter V12 engine specifically for Pagani. The engine pumps magnificent 827 horsepower and 811 pound-feet of torque. The seven-speed automatic gearbox makes Imola more powerful than any other car in the Pagani Huayra series. Some of the spectacular features of the car include a large seven-section diffuser, a large roof scoop, more definite side skirts, a shark fin, and integrated spotlights. The engineers developed an exclusive paint finish to shed extra weight. Huayra Imola also features an improved Brembo brake package and a specially designed Pirelli Trofeo R tires. Only five examples of Pagani Huayra Imola would ever be produced. And each is priced at a staggering $5.4 million. Next comes the McLaren 720s. McLaren's re-entry into the supercar game launched in 2011 with the MP4-12C, an awkwardly named but impressive debut whose angry twin-turbocharged V8 put the establishment on alert. But it wasn't until 2017 that McLaren's threat became imminent with the 720s. Taking everything the brand had become known for carbon fiber construction and an ambitiously complex hydraulic suspension system the 720s stunned the competition with its breathtaking speed and incredible breadth of abilities. Tomorrow's top supercars may be anyone's guess, but the McLaren 720s maintains its positions as one of the finest offerings of the decade. Next comes the rough CTR 30th Anniversary Edition. Ruff's 211 miles per hour Yellowbird may have looked like a slightly tweaked Porsche 911, but the heavily modified creation was nothing short of groundbreaking, vanquishing titans like the Ferrari F40 and Lamborghini Countach in a 1987 road and track magazine cover story. Its legend became cemented with the Nürburgring shredding session in the fascination video. The latest CTR, marking its 30th anniversary, once again appears approachable at first glance, but this time around it boasts an entirely bespoke carbon fiber chassis hiding a cornucopia of exotic hardware, from inboard suspension to a quick revving 700 HP power plant. 
At once classic and futuristic, the CTR marks a momentous milestone against the original Yellowbird, offering a wildly capable supercar that hides in a discreetly familiar body. Next comes the Lamborghini Veneno Roadster. Built to celebrate the company's 50th birthday, Veneno literally means poison in Spanish, and well, the design does look deadly. Looking almost like an alien space capsule, this car can reach speeds that can give one of those a run for their money, literally. The 6.5-liter V12 with a 7-speed single-clutch ISR automated manual transmission can spin at 8,400 rpm to yield 740 horsepower and 507 pound-feet of torque, meaning that the car can do a 60 miles per hour at 2.9 seconds. Only 9 units being made, the biggest problem of these cars is their crazy resells rates one was sold at $11 millions. It was the most expensive car in the world ever produced upon its introduction, and only three being available to customers in the first lot, there was a crazy scramble to get hands on the remaining ones. Next comes the SSC Twatera. Twatera to reach 300 miles per hour. That's the target that Washington State, based SSC North America has for its new SSC Twatera hypercar. To hit that mark, the carbon fiber, bodied Twatera named after a spiny lizard found in New Zealand carries a 5.9 liter twin turbo V8 packing a massive 1726 HP. Production has already kicked off with the goal to build 100 examples, each priced at 1.6 million dollars. SSC isn't new to the high-speed business. In 2007, its 1,287 HP Ultimate Aero Clock 256.14 miles per hour. The record stood for three years before Bugatti's Veyron Super Sports came along. Time to take the record back. Next comes the Aston Martin Valkyrie. Supercar greatness is on its way. When Aston Martin's Valkyrie hypercar comes off the line early next year, it will set a towering new benchmark for street legal production car performance. It's what happens when you bolt a 1000 HP, 6.5 liter V12, along with a 160 HP Remac developed hybrid electric system, into a lightweight, super strong carbon monocoque. And if that wasn't impressive enough, remember the car has been designed by Adrian Newey, Formula One design rock star and current chief technical officer for Red Bull Racing production will be limited to 150 examples, each costing $3.2 million. Next comes the Bentley Continental Super Sports. To make a 5,400-pound, big-bodied two-door coupe go fast, really fast, you need a big engine. Which is what made Bentley's last-generation Continental Super Sports arguably the greatest production Bentley ever. Technical wizardry managed to up the horsepower of the Super Sports Turbine Smooth 6-liter twin-turbo W12 to a nice, round 700 HP. The result, 0 to 60 mph acceleration in a hard-to-comprehend 3.4 seconds, and a top speed boosted to a blistering 209 miles per hour. It was simply the fastest four-seater you could buy. Just 710 examples were built during 2017 making them a collector's dream. Top on our list comes the Ferrari SF90 Straddle. While the days of Maranello's 12-cylinder halo rockets may be fading in today's eco-climate, the 8-cylinder SF90 Straddle more than delivers. Built as a streetcar tribute to Ferrari's SF90 Formula One machine, the SF90 Straddle is an unabashed hypercar boasting 1000 HP from three electric motors and a twin-turbo V8. Its combination of exceptional hybrid powertrain performance and dramatic looks pull from the best of existing aft-engined models. Note the nod to the 488S flank scoops as well as to the Mark's racing pedigree the nose simply screams motorsport, which this car salutes by name, Scuderia Ferrari, 90 years. But that enough for today. Let us know in the comments below which the greatest supercars of the 21st century you think is or maybe there is something even better than this. If you think this video is informative do share it with friends and family. See you next time.